Hello my YouTube audience. This is me again for a different VHS tape opening. And now we go from different categories. We got categories of your favorite best known comedy team of the 1930s and 40s. I don't mean Laurel and Hardy and Abbott and Costello, but the one and only trio comedy team of the Three Stooges. And here's the Ten Three Stooges volume that was released around late 1984. Comes with the 1943 spook cloud, the one with the boys play, uh, we, we do this in race salesmen, and then they, and then they became like guarding up the, uh, someone's mansion, by getting away from the spy ring members, and they're gonna find out who filled the pies. Then we roll along to the earliest three stooges shorts, like Men in Black in 1934. This was the short when the three stooges were doctors. That was the only three stooges short nominated for the Oscar in 1934. And the patient played by comedian actor Billy Gilbert. You might know him in the music box with Laurel and Hardy. Oh, speaking about Laurel and Hardy, we have here a three stooges short with a remake of Laurel and Hardy's short life. Like it's the body meets the body was the remake of the 1930 uh, Laurel and Hardy murder case. Fred Kelsey did both roles. One with Laurel and Hardy as the, uh, the uh, detective, and with the three Stooges as a detective again in 15 years later. And they, that was the one with the Stooges had to spend one night at that, at that mansion, because Curly has his uncle named Professor Bobolink. And they're going to find out who murdered Professor Bobolink. And then they're going to find out who opens the, the will, and if they, do they get the inheritance. Watch what happens in the 10th Stooges volume. This was released in late 84. Previously, I showed you the other three Stooges VHS tapes on this channel, like volumes 1, 5, 9, and 13. And this is the late 84 release from RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video. This was in the close casting of the Helium Paired. And in this 84 original, it has, it starts with the 1934 a Columbia Production logo on there. Yep. That is like the Columbia Production logo for starting of Spook Louder. And other copies of this 10th Street Studios volume didn't have that. It was 1987. The 87 Tape Master has starts with the FBI warning screen goes right into the short. This tape was printed on the 48th week of 1984. Yeah. At the end of this tape, it has the late 83 FBI warning screen, but 87 reprint didn't have that either. So, without a further ado, here's Mo, Larry, Curly, in this 10th Receivers volume, VHS, for some shorts like Spook Louder, Men in Black, and It's the Body Meets the Body. This is a, a Columbia production 1934 logo. <laughs> Excellent. That 
will be all Burdinus. Uh, Professor Dunfeather, my paper wants the inside story on the breaking up of the great spy ring. By far the strangest case in all my experience. It began one day when three master salesmen were canvassing from house to house. In the 1987 read press of this volume, they don't have the FBI warning scream on there. This was the first prestigious tape ever had the caption copyright 1984. Yeah. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the opening and closing of the 10th Three Studios volume VHS. We'll see you again next time and have any more of the Three Studios VHS tapes. So just take care, my Stooge fans. Comment it or subscribe if you like the video or not. To find my Stooge, I'll just...